Hello Aries, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing a general reading and this is for June 2024. Love, career, money and whatever else comes up in the cards. Let's see what the message is for you. General messages. Take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. If you want more accuracy, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email for personal readings or white prayer based spells or we have intention charge high vibrational crystals for you, pure crystals for you as well. So all the details for reaching out to me is given in the description box and much more. See the messages to you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Sign, Aries, Plus Ross, Watches. See the messages for you. June 2024, next few days, what's coming up in your life? What's happening around you? Love, career, health, everything together. Let's see. Aries, please. Got it. The world. Ooh, 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 ooh. The four of pentacles. The moon. No, don't tell me. Okay. So again, Aries, you're in such a happy energy right now. Trust me. Your life is changing. You're in a very strong, powerful uh uh, energy or journey in your life i feel like you're someone right now that is living your life at your best at your full and you're feeling really positive and um very excited for big changes in your life okay you can see intuitively you're also uh, pushing yourself beyond challenges to experience new beginnings um to have a fresh new life fresh new experiences you're very much excited for a new journey in your life okay you have sown a seed of a uh, new beginning you know that no matter what happens i'm going to close myself completely off from any kind of past energy from any kind of old patterns you're done with the old patterns you've done enough of um discernment okay you have done enough judgment and you are clear that i do not want any of this repeated in my future i'm ready for a new beginning i want to take a new journey and i will not make the same mistakes and i will protect my energy from anything from the past because i am done you are clearly done and you're very positive that something new, something exciting, something life-changing is happening and you are uh, ready for this big change in your life. You're very positive, very excited. Some of you are attending celebrations, parties, full of joy, happiness, buying new stuff, shopping, okay, uh, getting high grades at work or recognition. I'm also seeing money is coming to you. That makes you feel stable. That makes you feel independent. That makes you feel like you don't have to beg anyone else for your um, expenses. So you have your own money. You can meet your own expenses. Even beyond than that, you are having a, a great mind for investment. You know how to use this money, where to use this money, and how to protect my energy. Sure, protective about your assets, about your money, some of you are buying a land. All of these new beginnings are happening. Some of you have relocated and feel really positive energies at the new place. And I'm seeing that you're uh, so excited that something new is happening into your life and you're moving towards new beginnings. Some of you are traveling to a place and it's very exciting. You're having fun. Some of you have met someone new and you're very excited to know this person. But all in all, I can see your, mo uh, your, your life is moving pretty fast. Okay, Things have started to speed up in your life in a very right, positive, most exciting direction. And you can't wait. You're very excited to know what's coming into your life okay some of you just bought a new car but in the middle of all of this that's happening into your life there is this person that's not sleeping well that's dreaming about you that is fearful that you may have someone else in your life that is not able to move on from you and is carrying a lot of stress and burden over their shoulders okay maybe this is the one that left you and now they're regretting it or there was an ending mutual ending between the two of you but now this person is going through extreme stress extreme burden i'm also seeing mental rep depression here they can see that you're having fun they can see that you're enjoying your life 
so the six of wands is like you're being a winner in whatever perspective you have right now i will i'm seeing that you're in a spotlight aries and you're aggressively moving towards a new journey and you're very focused towards the new beginnings i'm also seeing you coming up with a new uh, idea a creative skill um or a new project that you know very well is going to change your life you're positive okay a new beginning is in front of you and you're very positive and you're relaxed whereas on the flip side there's this someone that is thinking non-stop about you and has been all oh, oh, you know um reading between the lines like oh why did this aries do this to me or why did this aries go here or why is this aries so happy like they're trying to read too much uh into your lives so this person is very interested in your life they're not interested in theirs i feel this person keeps thinking about you okay the lovers this could be a gemini yes they want you i feel there's someone that has fallen in love maybe this is a new person that uh uh has seen you that has met you somewhere and cannot stop obsessing over you they're planning on making a move towards you but they don't know how to do it they're a little freaked out they're conscious they're insecure they're closed off or they're too guarded this person has been fantasizing you a lot with them this person wants a relationship they have been thinking about you in their mind but is afraid of taking action non-stop thinking about you non-stop this person is thinking non-stop and is afraid Gemini energy, Cancer energy. Uh, I'm also seeing the energy of an, a fixed sign like uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or Taurus. Okay, these are other signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius also there. The thing is, this person has been heartbroken. They have been heartbroken in their life. And this person has almost lost faith or almost lost interest in uh survival i must say i feel this person is extremely heartbroken okay and they really want this new beginning into your life but they don't have that um uh, trust in themselves that they will be able to you know live up to your expectations in love or they will be able to maintain the strong beautiful connection that they want with you so this person is trying to manifest you i'm also seeing this is someone that uh, knows a little bit about spells and all they may be doing for you they're trying to create a beautiful bond with you but this person has almost lost faith in love they recently have been heartbroken very very badly okay aries this could be a virgo as well i'm seeing separately it could be a virgo the death the hierophant and the empress yeah i'm seeing you're avoiding this person you know already who this person is um uh, i feel you have come out of this relationship you guys were in a relationship you came out of this relationship you're moving towards new love you're enjoying your life you're very much ready to get married but not to this person you're you want to get married but not to someone that's too negative i feel you're done with them they could be a scorpio because of their past traumatic experiences they may have uh, put a lot of stress on you or affected you with their negative energies because this person has been born and brought up in negative surroundings or they have had very bad breakup that made them completely negative or um, stressed out and you did give them give a chance but you felt like you were absorbing this energy and you didn't want to be in that energy you didn't see a future with this person you walked away and now this person is trying to manifest you but i'm seeing you don't want this because you're transforming you're moving forward you want a, a commitment with someone that's full of life positivity on the same page um very happy and excited and it's just like you wants to grow wants to get married wants to fulfill all your dreams and fulfill all your wishes so you're very much ready for a new love okay the new love could be taurus or cancer or scorpio as well all right i feel like your feelings towards this person have died and you are very much interested in exploring your own creative skills you want to reach your highest version of yourself and you're focused on your personal development you are keeping your love 
uh, related aspect aside right now intuitively you know this person wants to talk to you they miss you they they feel bad they are trying to uh, get your attention but you're going to listen to your instinct you will be listening to your gut feeling that you have to move ahead in life okay i'm seeing you becoming more spiritual more intuitive and more positive with time you're also getting intuitive downloads where you understand that this is where my direction is this is where my life purpose and i have to go in this direction so you're very clear about your direction what you want in your life okay there was also a third party interference that caused this breakup but you're happy that it happened so that you started to work on yourself the seven of pentacles and the queen of pentacles slowly with time as you can see already your vision is uh, clear very very clear that my um, outcome is going to be that I will be rich and successful this is your vision and slowly within two months time or even a little longer with some patience and using your gut feeling and intuition I'm seeing you're going to reach the point where you are right now dreaming about okay that means after some time you have sown the seed and you're working on your goals and after some time you'll see yourself very rich and powerful extremely uh, happy living glorious lifestyle luxurious lifestyle and you're independent your money is growing maybe you invested some money and in some time you will see the money has grown to unlimited uh, folds and you're so excited you're so happy that finally you've reached the point in life where you can say i am independent i'm financially secure i'm stable that means your sacral chakra is getting more and more powerful with time you are building a solid foundation for yourself and after then you will be ready for something serious like marriage or stuff like that the beauty of this whole read is that you still stay grounded all of this is telling me that you're still grounded we're getting too much of success in the near future i'm seeing you being grounded okay they just saw it. someone is watching you the star the hangman the ace of wands wow the queen of wands okay please clarify on oh this is a clarifier two of cups someone is coming towards you with a new beginning in love that will be changing your perspective you will fall in love with this person that's coming towards you number one they are very attractive number two they're exactly the kind of person that you saw in your dreams or you've written in your notebook or journal that this is the kind of person i want universe so universe is sending you the exact same type of a person the way they look from their appearance and their life is adventurous that person is coming towards you when this happens okay they are searching for the right mate you're searching for the right mate and eventually you guys are meeting up and when you guys meet there will be a sudden burst of excitement inside of you okay butterflies in stomach and feels like you're not able to control your senses you just feel literally attracted towards this person the moment you see this this person there will be intense passion you will feel towards this person so someone is coming to excite you from within deep within children okay this person could be younger okay okay i get that i get that let me just pull it out okay first three cards are clearly talking about the past person still not getting over you this person has a bad parenting or this person has a family where uh, a lot of toxicity has affected their life okay while growing up this person could be younger i it's time that you will be separating yourself completely from this person despite of them wanting to be with you but this separation is important for you to explore yourself and to be a better version of yourself while you're working on being a better version of yourself you have someone coming into your life that will be ready to marry you because you will reach the point where you feel you have achieved when you feel you have achieved you will be ready to get married or someone will be ready to marry you this is what is happening okay so marriage is very very close very much near but you're coming out of this cage this was a caged feeling you were having it's good that it's a confirmation that you should not be going back to this person because it's a very uh, bad toxic 
feeling that gives you when you be with this person so the change is happening and you're going to build a solid family with someone new coming into your life that's for sure but you're not in a rush you're taking your time okay you're going very smoothly i'm seeing you going smooth some of you are in 20s also very young watching this as well okay community this person that's coming into your life is someone that has name recognition in their community a lot of people uh, respect you a lot of people value you and uh, this person is also this person is spiritual and I feel a lot of people are going to respect you guys because you make a great pair and both of you will have a great influence a positive influence in the people around that you uh, sit and uh, sit with or you have to spend time with so i'm seeing uh, a lot of people around feel positive when they see you guys together so this person also comes from the similar background or community that belongs to you you can meet this person within your own society as well okay they could have their birthday adding up to seven as well Okay, this person is spiritual, that's for sure. The one that's coming towards you. Very attractive, but loyal. You're on the right path. So don't worry if you have doubts that am I doing this right, Enigma? You're absolutely doing this right, okay? Don't worry. You're on the right path. And yes, see, I told you. So you might be worrying because there is a part of you that feels guilty about letting this past person go. Despite of being hurt by this person you still feel bad but then you have to take a step for the new beginning for the positivity in you for the for the positive life and feel like this is the perfect decision that you've taken to protect yourself to heal yourself and rise above the ashes so you since you know that you cannot change the outcome okay you can't change the person from the past you have to move on just the best decision conclusions are within reach you're about to meet the one that is uh, very different from your expectations uh, beyond your expectations and the perfect match for you and is within reach they're about to come okay they are very close to you they're about to come money is rising that's for sure wow king of wands and the queen of wands that's the soulmate bond you go, you guys will have i feel this person is very attractive and they will be very attracted to you you guys when you see each other you guys will be super attracted towards each other the first feeling that you guys will have when you see each other is intense burst of emotions and that too they will be more physical like there's going to be more physical outburst uh yeah but i feel you guys are on the same page you guys are manifesting each other you guys have finally met uh, this is the person of your dreams and you're the person of their dreams and both of you are meeting when you both are at high vibing energy. So you meet at the right time when the energies are positive on both the sides and high vibrational and that is why this will end, it, end into something really nice like wedding. Okay, now let's see your person's feelings towards your Aries to Pisces. Aries towards Aries, let's see. Aries towards Aries, Taurus towards Aries, Gemini towards Aries, Cancer towards Aries, Leo towards Aries, okay, wait, Virgo, mm-hmm, Libra, Okay, Scorpio. All right, let's do this first. So Aries is definitely blocking this beautiful blessing and they don't know what they're missing out on. So they're not interested right now. Taurus wants to come towards you, the love offer. The Gemini is a constant liar, stay away. The Cancer wants to put a ring on you. They want something solid, long term with you and leo leo is very excited to date you to get to know you to see how things grow between the two of you their feelings are out of control right now they're passionate about you libra okay this is this is leo this is virgo okay 
Vogo Libra Scorpio. Okay, Vogo is, I feel like they're committed to you or they see you as very um, respectful person. They could be younger, but I feel like they have been watching you closely and they feel like you're a person of dignity or a person of self-respect and you're a high value person. So they see you as a marriage material and they're planning on reaching out to you for the same. Libra. Libra is obsessed with you. They're not able to get over you. This person's having strong feelings of love and hate towards you. They're missing you. They want to reach out to you and they want to have you all by themselves. Scorpio cannot control their feelings. They have intense passion. They want to say a lot of things. They feel mesmerized by you. They're passionate about you. They want to spend 24 hours with you. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Aquarius. Okay. okay. Aquarius. Pisces. All right. So the Sagittarius person is coming towards you. They're very positive and they're ready to deal in this relationship in all the ways. Okay. Even if there is something negative, they are ready to accept you with all your good qualities and bad qualities. Capricorn, they want a relationship and they may already have told their family and friends that this is the one I want to marry. Aries is the one. Okay, and then I'm seeing Aquarius. This person is having a very bad time right now. They're not able to understand you and your feelings and they feel like they're disrespected. They feel unloved. Uh, uh, they feel disappointed in themselves. So they're moving on. But somewhere you're still in the back of their mind. I feel they need a lot of motivation from you. Then we have Pisces. Pisces cannot control their happiness. This person is like completely crazy, mad over you and uh, they want a new beginning with you. They're excited about you. You bring them uh, happiness. You bring them healing. You're the person that they have been manifesting and they're thinking universe that they met you and they cannot wait for a new beginning like they are waiting for you to come and propose this person because they are very very happy okay they feel like you're an angel sent on earth for them so that's about it i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful thank you for your time aries do like your comment and subscribe come back for more so you're back in again bye